Hello everyone, I'm Mike Tarabarelli, ISA Certified Arborist and Lawn Care Manager for Giroux Tree and Lawn Care. If you live in the Southeast Pennsylvania region, you know that this summer has been horrible for lawns. We've had record heat and drought, and they've taken their toll on what we call cool season turf grasses, such as Kentucky bluegrass, fescues, and ryegrass. What we're going to talk about today are lawn renovations. At what point do you decide to renovate your lawn? Usually, I would say about 50, 60 percent of the lawn, when it, has, when it has turned into weeds and crabgrass, it's time for a new lawn. And, and that is what's happened at this lawn that we're at today. It's been full of, of, of uh, crabgrass and weeds have taken over, and we've decided that, you know what, it's just not worth trying to encourage whatever grass remains. We should just wipe everything out and start from scratch introducing new varieties of grasses. And we're going to do that today. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce you to a couple of our Giroux lawn technicians. Hi, my name is Michael Coyle. I'm a Pennsylvania Certified Pesticide Applicator, Category 6, 7, and 16. I'm Justin Miller, uh, Pennsylvania Certified Pesticide Applicator, Category 6, 7, and 16. I'd like to show you some of the equipment we use in our lawn renovations. This is our one of our core aerators. Even if you're not seeding your lawn, this is a, an excellent beneficial process to do for your lawn at least once a year because it helps to uh, relieve compaction, uh, makes a good seed base when you do seed and allows water and nutrients to get down to the root zone. This is a, a, a walk behind slit seeder and uh, Justin, what do we mean by slit seeder? What does this machine do? Well, look under typical. here um, has tines all the way across and what they do is cut grooves in the soil and the seed drops from right in here into the grooves to create a nice seed base evenly over the lawn. The last step of this renovation will be applying starter fertilizer for root development and thickening. And that's important for new grass. Justin is going to start applying that now. And as you can see, thorough even coverage is important. Usually it takes about two years to form a good thick sod. And it's important to have follow-up uh, maintenance, including proper watering, fertilization, weed and crabgrass control. And even for this fall, it's going to need follow-up feeding. So we'll be back to apply more fertilizer later in the fall to help that new lawn get established, and get, its, get a nice color, and thicken up, and we'll keep you posted on the progress of this lawn. 